All right, it's time to talk a little bit about overlays. Now, when you're looking at setting up a stream or maybe you've been searching streaming resources online, you've probably been bombarded with a huge selection of overlay options. And uh, first of all, let's define what an overlay is. An, an overlay is basically any source that isn't a capture source. Now, when we talk about capture sources, we're talking about window capture, display capture, video capture, audio capture, all things that provide a visual or auditory experience for the viewers, except images and moving images. Any images or moving images that you have on top of your display or window capture are considered overlays. Also text can be considered as overlays. So let me let me show you what I what I mean. If I go to add a source and I click image, most people when they think of overlays will think of something a little bit like this. A little border that goes around the outside of their screen and provides you space to put some text and some scrolling stream labels and, and things like that. Maybe they also would consider an overlay. If I go to add media source, uh, they would also consider webcam frames as an overlay. So you see this webcam frame right here. It's a moving frame for a webcam. It's an image, a moving image that provides a little bit of extra. Oh, it's not on a loop. Let's loop that so that you can continue to see it. Uh, that provides a little bit of uniqueness, a little bit of color and personality to your stream. Yes, these are definitely, definitely overlays. These are what you can consider overlays. But don't forget about text. Don't forget about browser sources. There's so many different types of overlays. And I'm going to show you all of them in this video right here. First of all, we're going to start with making a very, very, very basic overlay set with color sources and gradient sources. So let's say uh, I've got a, on this page, let's, let's, make, um, let's make a window capture just so that I have something that I'm capturing. Uh, where's a window? Let's go for uh, paint. Paint is always a good one because it's uh, easy to capture. Let's put that to Windows 10 and it says hi on screen and we're going to leave that right here. This is my capture source that I want my viewers to see. I also want them to see a video capture source of me. So I'm going to go ahead and add a webcam. I'll add my C270, which by the way is not a very good webcam, but it's a, it's a spare for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the right hand side here. And let's say I want some overlay. So I'm going to, I'm going to enlarge my paint source a little bit. And you can see that on the right hand side and at the bottom of my screen, I have a lot of space. There's a lot of black space, a lot of blank space. And I'm going to want to fill that out with some color and a border, a place for me to put text and additional information for my viewers. I can do that by adding very, very, very simply. This is probably the easiest way to add any sort of overlay by using a color source. I add the color source. It's a square. Uh, let's go for something non-intrusive. Let's go for like a light blue. And I'm going to drag that down into the space. Just make sure that it fits on screen. Let's go transform and center horizontally so that we know it fits. And I'm going to drag that color source below the other sources. I'm then going to copy and paste, duplicate that color source. I can actually right click and click uh, duplicate. Oh, no, I can't. Like, let's just copy and paste. Yeah, I can. There we go. Paste duplicate. There we go. I know I could. Let's put that down here and I'm going to move that up and to the side. And there we have it. We have a very basic border overlay uh, for our stream. However, looks a little bit boring. We can do the same if I remove these. Uh, we can do the same with a gradient source. Let's go ahead and add a gradient in our sources. Uh, let's make it look a little bit funky. I'm going to go, what should we go with? Let's go with light green or like a baby green and a baby pink. Let's do that. And again, I'm just going to drag that to the bottom. I'm going to right click, transform and center horizontally. Uh, let's go a little bit further. Drag it below our other sources. Of course, you can use the arrow button, the arrow down to put it below other sources. Watch here. So I put it above and I put it below and I put it above and I put it below. And I'm going to right click, paste duplicate. And I'm simply going to drag this one up. Oh, wait, awkward. Why is it not pasting duplicate? Right click, copy. I didn't copy. What a noob. Paste duplicate, drag it down. And then I'm going to right click, transform, 
and fit to screen or center to screen. And there we have it. We have a gradient overlay instead of a standard color. Now, of course, you can actually download overlays from the internet. Let me show you what I mean. Your overlay is going to come in the format of a standard image or a moving image, a video file. In this case, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Browse, and I'm, I've already downloaded an overlay. When you download your overlay, make sure it's a PNG format. What that means is that the image will be transparent in the background and will allow you to put it over the top of your pre-existing sources. So I'm going to add this as an image. I'm going to, if it came in at the bottom, I'm going to make sure that it's at the top of my list of sources. And as you can see, it overlays over the top of my pre-existing sources. So it's over the top of paint here. So what I might want to do is actually drag paint inside the screen a little bit. Or I might want to move my webcam around so that it's not covered by the overlay. Let me grab my webcam. See, if I put this up here, my face is covered by the overlay. But if I put it on the right-hand side or in the top right here, it's perfectly fine. So these are overlays. When you download an image, which is a pre-existing overlay, make sure it is a PNG. Uh, you might also download non-still image overlays. So if you download a, if you download a moving image, a video, it's going to be a WebM because it's going to be transparent again. So make sure it's a WebM. Click loop, press browse, choose your WebM file. Uh, unfortunately, this one is not a WebM. I will fix that a little bit later on. But we're going to drag that below your video capture device, and you're going to have a frame for your webcam. Let me just see if I can find that original file. So overlays basically anything that will uh, add to the general feel of your stream. Normally, it is... Uh, let me move this to the other screen so you guys can't see me going through my files. Uh, normally, it is in coherence with the rest of your color scheme. So if you have like a green and black color scheme, you are a color scheme, you're going to have a green and black overlay. And that's going to be consistent over all of your scenes. Where am I going here? Let's see if I can find that WebM file. I should be able to find it right here. Oh, I'm moving my face around. Sorry about that. Uh, let's try that. Ah, here we go. Here's my WebM. Gotcha. So you can see that it's actually transparent this time. There's no black background because it's a web M. I'm going to move it over here. I need to put it on loop though. If it's not on loop, then it's not going to continue playing around and around. There it is again. And it doesn't fit with my camera right now because the camera resolution is a bit small. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my video capture device. I'm going to enlarge it so that the sides fit inside the frame. And I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller, grab the top, hold the Alt key, which is the crop key, and fit it inside the frame. And suddenly, I have an overlay for my webcam. Now, there are websites out there where you can download pre-existing free overlay packs. Owned.tv is a fantastic one. Let me type this on screen so you can see. Owned.tv do some brilliant uh, do some brilliant free overlay packs. There are also uh, pay, to, pay to download ones, which are also excellent. Some animated ones are pay to download there. Let's make this black, otherwise you can't see it. <laughs> there you go, there's own.tv. And also, what's the other one? Nerd or Die. Nerd or Die also do some really good uh, paid and free overlay. So if you want to go and check those out, you can download the overlays there. You will download them in a uh, image or a uh, moving image format. So remember, if you download a still image PNG, you add an image file. If you download a WebM or a moving image file, a video, then you need to add a media source. Otherwise, it will just appear still and it, there's no point in it being animated. Go and check out those websites, get yourself some free overlay files, and have a go at creating your own overlays. Maybe even use the color source and the gradient source to make your own too.